Hey, what's up, dudes? What's up? How you been? So I thought I'd come back on here. Uh, just uh, got over a little cold. I can finally talk again. I'm running through Guitar Rig 5. What am I playing? Uh, the solo f delay 51. It's the 5150 amp. <laughs> I gotta say, for some of the metal sounds, Guitar Rig 5 is really good. You know, when you want a really complex sound with a lot of a lot of bells and whistles. <clears throat> so, um... I had this out recently with the old scallop neck on it. My old 87 um, RG560 I've been his. And, uh, you know, I have a few things planned uh, upcoming, uh, but this was just trying to cram a little extra video in during, uh, during this month where I have a little bit of extra time. So everyone's out of the house. The boys at Karate. The girl is at Arts and Crafts. My wife's at the supermarket. <laughs> Just got the call. She's like, we won't be home for an hour. I was like, really? <laughs> Tonight we're uh, going to decorate the tree. And, uh, geez, the trees are a little bit more expensive this year than usual. Uh, I found my bill, my receipt from last year. Um, I just happened to have it. And uh, it was, I think, $29. And this year it was uh, $65. <laughs> now, granted, this, tree, this year's tree is a little nicer, but still. Uh, Frasier fir. For the first time, the Douglas fir was a little cheaper, and I heard that the Fraser firs are going through a little bit of a health problem with a fungus that's been uh, knocking them out because of a little bit extra wet summer than usual. So the fungus has been taking a hold and, and knocking out the trees. That leaves fewer to cut in the fall, and the prices go up. So um, the problem with Douglas fir is we have... Our, our upstairs, not down here. I wish I had it down here, but our upstairs has nine foot ceilings. Down here, I'm, you know, the bottom of this beam I think is just barely six feet, or or six and a half feet. Yeah, because the bottom of the main beam is six feet, so that would be about, yeah. If you go all the way to the the top, you know, it's probably seven feet. But uh, upstairs, it's nine feet, and that's nice. Get a nice tall tree. So uh, we went out and got the. Um, <laughs> Went out and got the first one, uh, brought it home, and I was just about to saw, got the saws all out, just about to saw off the bottom of it, and um, I saw that uh, it had a big crack, the, the, the trunk had split. I was like, what the hell is this? But, you know, it had been cold, and then it got really mild, and maybe that sudden change in temperature, like, just cracked it. I don't know what, I didn't notice it when, when I got it. But there was no way I was keeping that tree. Still had the receipt, brought it right back up. And uh, the guy was like, oh, no problem. And uh, 
we started picking out, going through other ones, and uh, we found one. And uh, I started taking it out. We, we saw it wasn't all the way at the bottom, but you could, once you put it on its side, we could sort of see in the light. That one had a big crack down the side of it. I was like, dude. And he goes, oh, let's take a look. So we went through. We finally found one that wasn't cracked. It was like, damn, he's going to have trouble with that lot. It's not a very particularly good lot. Um, but uh, I had already paid, and I was just exchanging it for a tree that wasn't cracked. Uh, but this tree's been awesome. So we got the lights. I strung the lights up today. Tonight, the kids will come back, and we'll we'll go to the attic. We'll get down all the all the um, uh, bulbs and stuff that's remaining. I had some really cool bulbs too. Some nice Coca Cola ones that have, we had for twenty years, and in the last five years have been destroyed because my kids were younger. And it was like, Dad, what do you think? It's like, no. Uh, oh in fact we started putting all the glass ones way up high so they wouldn't touch them but they would they'd get up in a chair dad <laughs> it's like no don't smash we have all hardwood floors so um yeah we lost a whole bunch in fact we got rid of all the glass ones down the bottom because we have a couple of cats and uh we'll put plastic down there because the cats will sit there and bat them it's like oh god they love the tree though <laughs> They spend the night under it um, very often. So I really like Guitar Rig 5. Um, a couple of people had messaged me and said, Geez, it looks like you totally forgot about Guitar Rig 5 and you've moved on to TH2. It's like, no, I go through cycles. And I think TH2 is about to come out with an update. I'm, I'm really hoping they are. Because their last update was... Um, I want to say... 2010. I'm going to say um, December of 2010. Or November, December, somewhere. So it would be nice to get a new update from them, and it better have a friggin' MP3 player on it. Are you gonna see like a 20-minute rant on here? <laughs> I do like Guitar Rig 5. Uh, one thing um, I think Guitar Rig 5 does better is I think a little bit better stereo separation. And uh, they really do have a really singing... <laughs> distortion sound, you know. Actually, I can pull this, I can pop this up, and now this is a single coil. A little thinner versus it's subtle but it's there Ha <laughs> ha! 
anyway just stopping in nothing much um those on my fake face uh I almost said fake book. <laughs> Those on my Facebook page. Now I got a few new goodies to check out. And those will be up real soon. I uh, went out and uh, went to a uh, buddy's uh, music store uh, that's local. He has a lot of uh, cool stuff. So I went down there and um, did a little interview with him. And he's also got uh, some cool stories. Uh, um, and uh, he's got a, a little connection to Dio and a little connection to Maiden. And uh, I think it's uh, going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, I, you know, I had to shoot a lot of stock, you know, sort of footage and then an interview. And I'll sort of work it all together and premiere somehow but that's very slow um maybe santa will bring me a new computer i need like a uh like an eight core Yeah, the, the, the ability to bang is so good with a um, scallop guitar, you know. It's, it's like a skating rink out here. All right, guys, that's it for now. I'll be back up real soon. This was sort of a quick one. And um, uh, I'll do the, I have uh, new guitars, new everything, and uh, I'm still getting together, you know, some of the more produced ones. Just, it's all taking time, though. I have a little break. I got a little break between probably now and the beginning of next year, uh, as long as the uh, shit doesn't hit the fan with a few of the work projects I had going. But uh, assuming that that's all quiet, and it should be, but you never know, but it should be, and uh, uh, I should be good for the next, like, three or four weeks. And uh, I'll try and crank out as many videos as I can. guys that's it for now i will be back very 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 soon the old scallop neck there not too shabby of course it's this guitar has seen better days <laughs> right there yeah. a little natural basswood for you all right guys later <laughs>